A complete Criero assembly will be imported for analysis. You can preview the file structure before importing it and choose to exclude any sub-assemblies or parts. The real-time stopwatch in the bottom right-hand corner shows the actual duration of this complete process. Any unwanted nuts and bolts can be selected using the name filter and be hidden to exclude them from the mid-surface creation step. Mid-surfaces of the complete structure is created in one step and the plate thicknesses are assigned automatically and rendered in different colors for inspection. Now you can measure the whole model and you can check the element quality. Invalid elements were caused by the small distance between the holes and internal edges. You can suppress these internal features to provide room for larger elements and repeat this process when needed. Only a few invalid elements remain and these are easily removed by refining the mesh on only these parts. The mid surfaces do not need to connect. We will connect them mathematically, which is far more accurate than traditional approaches. To connect all the parts, simply create mesh independent tires, previously called glue. This takes the footprint of the plate thicknesses into account and avoid duplicate masses. This method produces far more accurate results due to better representation of the connection's differences. The last step is to assign the material before placing the assembly in the analysis context. The analysis readiness tool checks if the model is ready for analysis and will guide you to correct any errors or allow you to proceed. This whole model preparation process took only 15 minutes. The model analysis took around 45 minutes on this laptop computer. Within an hour after first importing the QO assembly, we had our first set of results. This model analysis showed a defect in the model, which was missed during the preparation and which has to be corrected. Note how well the stresses continue through the seemingly disconnected plates. The defect in the model is easily fixed using the edge drag tool to close the gap. Now we resubmit the model for analysis. 90 minutes later and we have our second set of results available. Previously this could easily take up to 10 hours to achieve. The model analysis shows the mode shapes and natural frequencies of the model that are shown previously also shows us that all the connections are correct. The model is therefore now ready for any further structural analyses required such as linear statics, dynamics, buckling, frequency response, etc. This completes this example of how quickly a large CAD assembly can be analyzed using MNC Apex.